In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to speed up your website very easily by using image optimization and image lazy loading. We're going to start off with image optimization. So we're going to go into the WordPress dashboard first and we need to install the plugin. So let's go do that. The plugin we need to install is WP Smush It. So we just search for that and then install. Confirm we want to do that and then WordPress will obviously download that plugin for us. And now it's installed, so we just click Activate Plugin. To get a feel for how this plugin works and to make changes, you can go to Settings and then Media. Here you can see we have the WP Smush It option available to us now. We have a few options available. We can automatically process on upload or not process on upload, though they're naturally processing as soon as you upload is the best. The next option is how many seconds should we wait for a response from Smush.it. 60 seconds is fine, uh, sometimes the service is very very busy and does get overloaded so in those cases it'll time out after 60 seconds. The next is just enforcing the image URL is the same as home. Now if you're not using a CDN then you want to leave this checked but if you're using a CDN uncheck this box. Finally if you're having problems with the plugin you can enable debugging. So we haven't changed anything there so no need to save changes. And that's that's what you need to do to set up Smush It. It'll take care of everything thereafter. You don't need to worry about it. So what we're going to talk about now is lazy loading images. So what we can do is if we scroll down, you can see we have a post and it's got some images and we have more images there. And they all load as soon as the page loads. So what we need to do is install the plugin to handle lazy loading for us. So we're going to once again go to add new and the plugin that we want now is BJ lazy load. So we'll just search for that. You can see it's there, first result. Click install. Uh, just go through the same process again and then click activate once it's actually installed. And then if you need to change any settings for BJ Lazy Load at any time, you can go into settings and then BJ Lazy Load. You have a few options here. It just dictates what images you do want to lazy load. You've got images, gravitas, post thumbnails, content, uh, and iframes as well. You can put in a placeholder image if you'd like. It's generally not required though. If there are any images you want to load immediately all the time, you just add their class, their CSS class there. And there are some more options such as, you know, if you want to use infinite scroll uh, to make it work with that. And you know, how close the viewport element should be when it's loaded. So 200 pixels is the current threshold. And then you've got some options to load high definition or the you know, retina images if the browser supports them as well as responsive images if they are there in the theme. So again we haven't made any changes here so no need to actually save anything so we'll go back to the website and if we scroll down we'll see it's very hard to catch but these images only load as we scroll past them. And really, that's, that's all you really need to do to set up image optimization and lazy load on your WordPress website. It'll definitely make for a much easier, smoother user experience. The site will load much faster too. And that's about it. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below.